Hey all coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was down a big old garage and while I was down there I took the opportunity to shoot uh, Jimmy Posey's 63 Thunderbird. I think it's a cool car. I think y'all are going to like it. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. Jimmy, what a cool old Thunderbird. Thank you, Scott. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's a 63. Got the car, a little history on the car. It was a giveaway car at Shades of the Past 12 really? years ago. Really? And I won the car, and I've changed a lot of stuff on it since I got it. But Bobby Alloway and them painted the car, and and it was, like I said, part of the giveaways at, right. at Shades. And uh, since I got it, I, I changed the springs. It's got Posey leaf springs on the rear, coil spring specialty coil springs on the front. Fat Man made a pair of drop spindles for it so I could put the 14-inch bare brakes on it. Well, what size wheels and tires are you running? They're 20s, 20 by 8s all the way around, the Rocket uh, Packs. Yeah. And you would think 20s on this car would almost be wagon wheel, but man, how'd you get them 20s tucked up in them fenders like that? There was room. We actually, for the rear, we actually narrowed the rear end about two inches, and uh, it gave it a little bit more room, and it they fit good. What are you powering it with? It's It's got the original 390 engine in it, but I've gone through it. And it's uh, it's thirty thousandths overboard with a small roller cam. Uh, got a billet specialty tree track system, I believe is what they call it on the front for the vintage air. And then I put a four L sixty E Chevrolet transmission in it, so it's got a computer for the transmission. And I also put Holly's Terminator Stealth throttle body fuel injection on it. So that helps the car as far as cranking it. It just it's just works better than a carburetor. Oh yeah, yeah. We forget what a pain in the neck carburetors were because we've had fuel injection for so long. But yeah, no, I think about any injection system is going to be better than a carburetor for everyday use. Right. You know? Right. No, it looks like it's set up to drive, man. You it can is. just get in and go to California in this thing. Well, this year alone, I've drove it to Tampa, Florida. Drove it to Columbus, Ohio. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I also drove it to cruising the coast. So yeah, it's a road car. And that's out of Alabama. That's correct. Holy cow. How long have you had it? I've had it 12 years. Wow, that's a very, very cool car. Tell me about the interior. It looks like it's brand new. It's original. No kidding. That was in the car when I got it. Oh. And uh, some of it, I understand, has never been redone. I, I think they've redid some of the pieces of it, but the majority of the interior is original. Man, I, I can't believe that. This car's a nice, nice straight car. Thank you. And the louvers on the door, that's stock for that's that? That's factory year? for a 63. That's how you distinguish a 63 from a 61 and 2. They've got uh, the 61 and 2s have different things on the quarter panels, and the 63 has the, I call them sergeant stripes, because right. they kind of look right. like a sergeant stripe right. on, the, on the doors. And underneath, did you chassis the car, or is it all stock? No, it's, it's all stock. It's a unibody car. Okay. And all I did was the suspension stuff. Now, it does have Ride Tech adjustable shocks all the way around it, and that improved the ride of the car tremendously. Yeah, because I've ridden in a car. I think rides are really nice. It floats like a butterfly. It's 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 a fun car. And, uh, you know, 63 Thunderbird, you wouldn't... It gets, it gets a lot of looks for what the car is. I bet it does because I've seen a lot of these cars and I've said this once, I've said it a hundred times, I don't think white's a color, so I'm not big on white, but that car just pops. It's that bright white, you got an alloy paint job, so that doesn't hurt, but <laughs> the blue interior, the stance, the wheels, it's not overdone. It just looks like a car that would just be fun to cruise around in. It's got an alloy paint job with a big oak touch. There you go. <laughs> well, brother, it's a cool car, man. Thanks for giving me some time today. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you. So there you go. Jimmy Posey's 1963 T-Bird. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey, y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.